What's up everybody, Patrick here, and we are moving to another piecewise function type of question. So we have to determine the value of k, which makes f of x, this function here, this piecewise function, continuous. So not too bad of a question. Basically, for a function or a piecewise function to be continuous, as we said, the y values have to equal at the meeting points. And notice there's only one meeting point here, an x value of 3. So the y value at an x value of 3, so basically the y value of this leg, which would be 2, 3 squared plus k, has to equal the y value of this leg at that x value of 3. Right, so 3 squared is 9 times 2, 18. 18 plus k has to equal 3 times 3 times k is 9k. So this is like a 1k here, bring it over. So 9k minus 1k gives us 8k. This is 18. Divide both sides by 8. These 8s cancel out, so we'd have k is equal to 18 over 8. And then we can uh, simplify this uh, fraction into 9 over 4. Super simple. Uh, k value is 9 over 4. So basically the y values at those meeting points have to equal. Now this particular question where you're finding these constants in this piecewise function was a little bit easier because there's only one meeting point. However, you can also have questions, we've gone over them, where there are multiple, perhaps two variables to solve and you'll have like three legs of a piecewise function. What you have to do then is you have to create two equations where the y's between the first leg and the second leg at that meeting point equal, and then the y values between the second leg and the third leg at that other x value equal as well um, at that other meeting point. And then you have two equations, two unknowns, and then you do substitution or elimination. So if you just got confused about what I said, just go back to the piecewise function lectures. We go over an example like that. Make sure you know how to do it, where you may be solving for multiple constants. Make sure you're comfortable with both. This one's a little bit easier because there's only one meeting point, one um, constant to solve for, but you can have multiple meeting points and you can have multiple constants to solve for as well. So make sure you go through those types of questions as well. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.